I would like to talk about the freedom of speech, which is under attack in your country. I still remember when you said repeatedly in the past, there is absolutely no way that media freedom or freedom of speech would be curta curtailed under my watch. It's now being curtailed under your watch, Mr. Prime Minister. All I want any independent, uh, any independent institution to just in these two years in Pakistan do an assessment of freedom of speech as in the papers or as on, on, on media. In my country's history, mm -hmm. no government has taken such criticism. Uh, criticism I don't mind, but blatant propaganda against a government like it has happened against us. So do you think these accusations you know are politically motivated? Uh, Hashim, let me explain. I spent, what, almost 20 years of my life in England. I know what freedom of speech is. In England, some of the things that have come up in the media against me and my government ministers, had that happened in, in England, we would have claimed millions of dollars of damages. Unfortunately, it's us, the government and the ministers, who feel unprotected. It's not the media. In these two years, it's unheard of. What do they call intimidation? I mean, if someone publishes a, a, a fake news against the prime minister and the prime minister then takes him to the court, is that uh, intimidation? Mm -hmm. It ha happens anywhere in the world. If the British prime minister was subjected to the sort of things that I ha have been, he would have been now millions of dollars richer because he would have won in the libel cases. I know what libel cases are. If anything, the pendulum has gone the other way. We need protection.